and it heats that rod up and it opens up the doors. And the so reason, this goes right into the Right into the, the key slot, oh. yeah, yeah. That's very cool, the ice yep. breaker. It is. It's it, a good idea. It is a really good one. <laughs> okay, what haven't we talked about? Really quickly. These yes. two guys. Yeah, wrench, wrench organizer, socket organizer. What's really I like about this, the fact, of course, they're, they're plastic, so they're not going to rust, but this particular set here also has these little tags and they just pop off and you just stick them onto each one of these little black pieces and these are all adjustable. They all move around and this is a 3 8 drive but this identifies where the sockets go and they come in quarter inch drive, half inch, etc. And wrenches. Yeah. I know, you're really hot on this stuff, aren't you? But hey, I think the ladies, if they think the garage will be tidier because of this stuff, will be into it. Yeah. I think, yeah. I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah, another room in the house. Love it. And you can get the Bay Scarf for three bucks. Yep. Rob wants you to know at the Bay, because I know there's going to be emails and calls when they see you in this hot little number. <laughs> Santa, thank you. Great ideas. You're welcome. For the car nut on your list. Yeah, thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> And just a reminder, you can get the items at Lordco Auto Body. And if you have any questions for Rob, you can email him at backseatdriver at shaw.ca. Well, we're going to celebrate the season with some holiday cheer. Up next on the Sunday Morning News, the Stickley Family Recipe. Weekend morning team together. Mm -hmm. And we are getting into the holiday. I'm calling this for getting into holiday spirits. <laughs> and uh -huh. uh, putting together... Some beverages to enjoy over the holiday season, and I'm surprised you haven't made a joke about the fact that, you know, me being in the kitchen is a little out of place. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, we <laughs> know when you really... <laughs> Why state the obvious? <laughs> so it Go ahead. It's because it's not about food, that's why. Exactly. <laughs> Bingo. So each one of us is going to introduce you to uh, something to enjoy over the holidays. When we say that, we want to put the caveat out there that it's in moderation and we want to implore that you should never drink and drive. Um, so let's start with Irish coffee, something warm. This is a great way to end an evening of entertaining and it's a stickly family tradition, always has been. Uh, my parents actually bought this before I was born, I think, or 1975. And so it's been in the family and my dad does this for us over the holidays and we all kind of sit around it's like watching a fire you know you just you're mesmerized by it because it's kind of a show as you're gonna see it's not just a drink there's a bit of entertaining that goes on so Jay yeah. let me just quickly go through what we've got okay. Irish mist obviously you can also use a good quality rye if you can't find this this is a liqueur it's a specialty liqueur you need tempered glasses do not put a wine glass or something like that onto this machine I'm gonna show you why in a bit but it has to be tempered special glass and it's actually got the line to show you where you want to fill it with Irish mist. So those lines are there for a specific reason. So you need these specific glasses. This, of course, uh, is the, the burner itself. And you put uh, methyl hydrate inside underneath here. You can find these at specialty kitchen stores or secondhand stores. They're actually tough to find, but hmm. uh, they're really cool. So the methyl hydrate you'll need. You need coffee standing by, ready to go. Have it made up before you do all of this. And then, depending on whether you like it or not, you need some... Whipping cream. Okay. Little added <laughs> touch. Double J, hit us. Okay, with the fire. Oh, yeah, please. Come on. Just because Rob was in the kitchen, you just never know. <laughs> Get her close to the uh, oven. <laughs> Gotta have it. Yeah. All yeah. right, so fire Everyone's this up. Everyone's a comedian. Kay. Fire that up. Christy, you're going to hold this. Right. Because uh, nothing will go wrong. <laughs> and as you were saying, but your dad bought this the year that you were born, which is what did you say, 65? 65. Oh, man. It's a good thing Christy's between you and I right now. You get a kick. Christy's yeah, exactly. holding on to this. If case, you should have something like this or a fire extinguisher in case anything went wrong. Okay, so Tim's just glasses. gonna light this on fire though. If, no? Here's uh, the normal line to fill. Here's Jay's line. There we go. But no, seriously, you only want to fill it this high. Do not fill it any higher than that. You'll see why in a second because when you tip it over, you wouldn't want any alcohol to come out. So. We lay it down just like so, very gently, right over top oh, of the flame. Nice. Very quickly though, guys, you need to keep turning this. Don't stop moving it. What you're actually doing is you're burning off a bit of the alcohol here. You're warming it up, right? And you're turning and turning, probably do this for about 30 seconds or so at the very least. Keep just turning it as you go. Again, this is tempered glass. Don't put just normal wine glasses or something. That would be a disaster. You're not chipping a nail or anything over I'm there, right? not chipping a nail. That? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a hard time. I'm watching to see when kind of the fumes are gonna start to come off. I was just gonna say you can oh, smell okay. it. Okay, I can see it. Are they starting to come yeah. off? Yeah. Because here's the showmanship part of this whole thing. I hope it's gonna work for the camera. 
I'm going to need complete silence for my next trip. See that you can see a little bit of fumes coming off? Yep. So we're going to light this baby on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me pull the pin yeah. right now on the old yeah. fire extinguisher. Not okay, a, we're ready now. Not a Christmas party until someone lights it on fire. Then what you have to do fairly quickly is get the coffee into it. And for bonus points, if you can keep the flame going as you're pouring the coffee into it, then you're an Irish coffee pro. All right, really? here we go. So it's, it has to happen fairly quickly. Ready? Yep. We tip it in. Oh boy. There we go. We're on fire. We're on fire. We want to get the coffee in. Oh, I think I lost the flame. And see, it's still still flaming as the coffee goes in. Yeah, you can see a little bit of blue there. And quickly. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh. Woo! There you go. And wait until you taste this. It is fantastic. So, go ahead, ladies first. Okay. Thank you. Happy Ooh, holidays. It's warm. Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's very warm. Okay. Hmm. Mm. How was it? Was well, nice? I, I just mostly <laughs> have... Mostly whipped cream? Yeah, exactly. So I haven't quite gotten to the coffee yet. It smells it's good, though. Good, yeah. Mm. Isn't that lovely? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Do I have it all over me? I know. Mm. That's delicious. It is delicious. And again, it's just, it's it's a bit of entertainment, right? There's some showmanship to it, and it's a fun thing to do at the end of the night with friends. Mm -hmm. Gather them all around and uh, enjoy. So from the Stickley family yeah. and from our family on the weekend mornings, we're wishing you uh, all the best this holiday season. We hope that you're spending it with family and friends and uh, those who mean the most to you. Mm -hmm. Merry right, Christmas. Holidays. Ready for this? We're going to light this up one more time. Oh, boy. Go. Ready? Ready? Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one's for our cameraman, Trevor Henderson. It's still lit. There it's you still, go. And that's where you get the bonus points. If you can get the coffee in without putting the flame out, then you've done it well. Nice. <laughs> As it topples over. And if you would like a copy of that recipe, you can find it on our website, globaltvbc.com, and look for the Editor's Picks section. We're going to be joined by Christy Gordon now with a look at our long-range forecast. And Christy, it did look like a lot of fun and that it tasted good. It did. It tasted yeah. really good. I was expecting it to be a stronger tasting drink, uh, but it was very flavorful, uh, a little bit on the sweeter side with the coffee, nice mixture, nice sort of balance. But you had to sort of dig underneath all that whipped cream to get to the actual drink. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of fun though. Okay, uh, Jane, oh, I wanted to tell you, uh, Seashell, the power has come back on for residents in Seashell, but now there's uh, over a thousand people without power in the North Cowichan area and areas in Courtney and Comox still are without power and that's because of the wind. Um, so strong winds surround, surrounding Vancouver Island with gusts up to 100 kilometers an hour. Sustained winds seem to be between 60 and 70 kilometers an hour and these are southeasterly winds. Expect them to continue for a good part of the day and we're expecting them to ease off late afternoon. You're also looking at rain on the island. So far, we have yet to see it move into the lower mainland, but we will start to see that happen over the next hour or two. And then we'll see the strongest or the heaviest rain here in the lower mainland this evening and overnight. And that means snowfall morning for uh, Whistler up to 25 centimeters. So let's have a look at things. If we fly in with the Remax satellite, we'll check out the satellite. We have another uh, system off in the distance as well. So here's a look at it. This is the system we're dealing with right now. This is what we're expecting today. Into Monday, we'll see things ease off to showers, but in behind the system, temperatures will cool off. So tomorrow morning, we do have the possibility of some wet snow at higher elevations and that includes areas on the island. And then once we see this next system push in, temperatures will warm back up and we'll be back to rain, but it will be heavy rain once this one moves in again. So a uh, bit of a soggy week in store for us. BC Peace River missing it all, so the heaviest part of this system is through the south. You will start to see a little bit more uh, snow in your forecast as you head towards Monday afternoon. Now, Whitehorse expecting two to four centimeters both today and tomorrow, so you can see you ease off to just uh, sunshine or mainly cloudy skies with some sunny breaks tomorrow afternoon. North Coast showers expected for you. Temperatures drop down on Monday as well, so the possibility of wet flurries even close to the water. Certainly uh, in Terrace and Smithers, you'll see that that snow. Caribou Central Interior dry for you today. Into tomorrow you'll start to see that cloud move in and then showers or flurries late in the day continuing on Tuesday and Wednesday for you. Columbia Kootenai region so increasing cloud a little bit of sunshine in store for you the more in the morning and then that snow later on in the day with five centimeters expected on Monday. As for Thompson Okanagan just a 60% chance of flurries for you today. Monday though two centimeters of snow so not heavy amounts but you certainly will see snow on the mountain passes over the next two days. Whistler though up to 30 
30 centimeters and this is today and tonight and then into Monday you have the possibility of seeing another five centimeters. Fantastic conditions on the local mountains. Well, Vancouver Island winds southeast 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. Rain today. Showers or flurries tomorrow. These are the temperatures for Victoria. So if you're further up the island, your temperatures will be a little bit cooler than that. But back to rain on Tuesday and that's the same for us, Jane. So southeasterly winds 60 kilometers an hour with periods of rain today. Showers or flurries tomorrow. Rain Tuesday, Wednesday, a bit of a break on Thursday and yes, more rain on Friday and Saturday. Okay, mm. thanks Christy, I You're think. Welcome. All right. Well, Jay is taking a ski next in sports after a break and the snow report. We're back in a moment. All sorts of things that kind of help the animals. Uh, What's that? Snacks are great. Snacks food, though. absolutely. All kinds of things to help them get through their stay at the right. shelter. Noon to four. Kind of depressing. Noon to four today, Vancouver, uh, East 7th Avenue, 1205. Thanks for joining us. We're back today at noon. See you then. Bye-bye. Yeah.